Here we go. Welcome, Doodlebugs. My name is Mary, and I'm going to show you how to fill a sketchbook page. Because sometimes you wake up and you say, my page is so empty and cold and lonely. Oh God, what do I fill this void with? If this resonates with you, worry not. I'm here to help you fill that sketchbook page and all your problems will be complete. Not solved, complete. Okay, first, materials. I am using the Electrum 1917 sketchbook. Wow. I like it because of its unique shape, its unique dimensions. Mm. To draw, I'll be using these Micron pens from Sakura. And of course, I will be using the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen. Wow. I'm in love with this pen, and in just a moment, you'll understand why. Now, one of the first things I do when I really need to fill a sketchbook page and I have no idea where to start is I create some boundaries. I'm going with centimeters. Never mind, I'm going with inches. Not only have I created a border that's gonna make this look like a more put together page of my sketchbook, I've also lessened the amount of surface area I need to doodle on. If you feel overwhelmed by an infinite blank page of possibilities, create a box, stay in that box. Don't go outside of the box, just stay in here. But what to put in the box? Sometimes if I need ideas, I look to outside sources for inspiration. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my YouTube comments, find a hot and fresh comment and use it for inspiration. So I'm gonna take music as my suggestion for this drawing. From Life is Music Parna Donkers. When I think of music, I think of birds. And without overthinking it, I'm gonna begin sketching. I'm just keeping my pen lines nice and loose. And yes, I am sketching with a pen. I like to sketch with a pen because, you know, life is unpredictable. It feels like every day there's more terrible news out there. There's more stuff to worry about. There's more things to be afraid of. It just kind of feels like every day you're rolling the dice with your life. So why not sketch with pen? I'm gonna go in with the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen and I'm gonna define these lines that I've sketched out. It can take a little time getting the hang of using a brush pen. Go slow, give yourself permission to doodle, and it can be quite rewarding to learn to draw with. And I'm just going with the flow. You know, the first thing that came to mind when I thought of music was a bird. It seems to be like a crow. I've been watching the crows in our neighborhood lately, mostly because I have a dog and I don't want her to upset them too much. Crows have a long memory, you see. And I'm gonna keep this sketch nice and big and broad. I tend to work on tinier drawings, so I'm challenging myself to go big. I also want to fill a sketchbook page, so make it big. Make it, make it big if you wanna fill that page. Uh-oh, guess what's coming out? Okay, I told myself I was gonna do black and white, but I can't resist. I was gonna do black and white, but now I wanna do watercolor, so there. Now, I will warn you, this sketchbook is not meant for watercolor. What you are about to see is unplanned unadvisable, absolutely unrewarding, and it is currently undescribable because it's just about to happen. I'm gonna lay down some fresh, clean, clear water onto the page, and I'm gonna wake up some colors here, starting with yellow, and I'm gonna move on to red. I'm gonna let those colors bleed together. Not adding, not gonna add too much water. This paper can't quite handle it. As we progress, I'm gonna wake up this blue paint here, and I'm gonna add that to the top, creating a Technicolor Crow, watching you, watching you pick up that bag of dog poop, taking note, taking faces, psychically connecting with the rest of the murder. So be good to the crows in your neighborhood. They remember. And I'm just gonna add a little more red and a little more blue. It's a little shimmery, shiny from the lights on the camera, but you can kind of see how those colors are getting more vibrant. Oh no, oh no, I got a hair, I got a hair in there, ew, ew, ew. All right, hopefully you can get a better view of this sweet watercolor wash action. Oh yeah, sunset colors on a crow. I don't know where you go when you fly away with my bracelet, but I hope you come back with a dollar that you stole. My watercolor technicolor crow, technicolor crow. I really am appreciating where this painting is going, but the background still feels a little bit empty. So I'm going to carefully follow this outline, this border, using clean, clear water, not a trace of paint on the brush. I keep my brushes nice and clean so that the colors I choose are pure and bright and perfect. 
And I'm kind of leaving a little halo around our subject here. I want our crow to stand out, you see. I want to honor him. I want him to like me. I want him to respect me. All right. And then once I've got my background all washed out with some water, I'm ready to add a little more color. I'm trying to decide what color I want to add. I have the I have some disgusting browns. Hmm. Gross. Ew. Nasty. This one has a little bit of green in it. Sort of like seagull droppings. I'm going to throw a little bit of that in there. And I'm going to customize this color with some of this disgusting. What the? Ew. Oh, that's, that's gross. Oh, that, that's really awful. I don't know about this. Yeah, no, that's, I might throw up. Oh, okay. I threw a little more orange in there and that was, that made it worse. Okay. I'm going to get some of this icy gray in there. I'm going to play with that on the bottom. I would say this sketchbook page is all about washes. One thing that helps when you're trying to fill a sketchbook page is to ask yourself, why? Why am I doing this? For example, my intention with this page is to practice my watercolor washes. Wow, see? I have a wash on my subject in the foreground, and I'm playing with the background washes and inventing colors. I'm inventing interesting new colors. Ew. And you know, if I want a more dramatic background, this is pretty soft. I could add some richer color. Wow. Look at it go. And I'm just going to keep adding this dark gray. And eventually there comes a time where you have to say, you know what? I'm done with this. It'll look a little different once it's all dry. But there you go. And I have filled a sketchbook page. My Technicolor Murder Bird. Thank you for watching the show. Thank you for watching the drawing happen. And a watercolor. And a pen ink.